you had leverage and uh, maybe you developed the platform. Peace TV is one of the largest uh, TV stations in the world and you're reaching religious, uh, religious, religious uh, stations. So how many people are you reaching daily? The English channel, uh, the viewership is reaching is different and viewing is different. Mm -hmm. The viewership, potential viewership is one and a half to two billion. Uh -huh. Potential viewership means it is coming in your home. Yeah. They may be watching, they may not be watching. But the viewership? Viewership is more than 100 million. Most of the Islamic channels on one satellite or two satellites, maximum three. Maybe for, I don't know of any satellite channel which is more than four. Peace TV, mashallah, is on 14 satellites. When did you decide to start Peace TV? We decided in 2005. Why? And because we, I believe that media is the most important weapon in the world. It can cover black into white, day into night, hero into villain, villain into hero. We started recording programs for the satellite from 1996. No airing. Recording them, but, but uh, no airing. Recording air and giving to other satellite channels. Ah, okay. I believe that if you have a project which is costing a million dollar, you have hundred dollar with it, start. So actually we started an organization with a budget of less than hundred dollars a month. Mm -hmm. I told my father that you are giving tens of thousands of dollars monthly outside, give me eighty dollars a month. Okay. So our budget was one thousand dollars a year. That was donation from your father first? Yes. I kept on increasing uh -huh. till he could supply. We had one employee. Now, mashallah, we have more than 500 employees. Our, our organization today is the largest, alhamdulillah, one of the largest private DAO organization in the world. Mashallah. mashallah. And compared to Christian Mishnah, our budget is peanuts. But compared to the Islamic organization, alhamdulillah, it is one of the largest budgets in the world. And alhamdulillah, it's Allah's help and Allah's grace and Allah's mercy <coughs> that uh, he has expanded the organization where we had a tough time hiring one person and now we have 500 full-time paid employees, mashallah. You cannot be the talent and the manager at the same time. So who's handling the business aspect of that channel? I mean, I don't believe that uh, or, or you have that unique capability of Actually, my wife always tells me that, you know, actually people think that most of my time I spend in studying. To tell you very frankly, I spend more time in management. Hmm. I'm more involved in management than a public speaker. In speech, on average, in a year, I spend about 7 to 8% of my time. With study, maybe 10, 15%. I spend more time in management. Wow. And that's Allah's gift again. That how do I get more value for the dollar? And how well do I do with limited resources? I can reach a larger audience. So do I must study management? I believe yes. It's very important. They must focus on their dawah, not to be involved in other sciences. No, I believe that if he knows management, he can give dawah better. For example, I was trained as a medical doctor. Mm. Besides medicine, I do everything, alhamdulillah. Now we have women charitable clinics. But because I'm a man of media, technically, alhamdulillah, I'm very well versed with the technical aspects. Uh -huh. I've not done any degree or course in media. But Technically, there is no one in my organization which even, alhamdulillah, has even 10% of my knowledge. If you, about lenses, about cameras, about technical things. Now, as I as a die, because I know the technical aspects, I can speak better. Mm. For example, I know that if I have a slip of the tongue, I can repeat, the 20,000 people hearing my talk or 50,000 hearing my talk will find that mistake. I repeat it, it becomes more obvious, but in the editing, I can edit it. I know, I know that I have to wear specs with, with the photochromatic. I, I know that it should have the anti glare. There are many things. As an editor, like here you saw the wire was not, so how to put the wire, how to clip, I know what's required, when it's required, what is the reach. So we are more bothered about the reach. When 100 million people are watching on the satellite, that's more important. So when I speak, I am more concentrating on the 100 million people than the 50,000 people life. And you're having people helping you running the organization? Do you have management team? If you have professionals. Yeah. MBAs and we have all professionals. Mm. But yet, Allah's help is most important. We have technical crew, we have got everything, we have professionals, we have CFO. But... You are the mastermind. I believe that Allah's help is there. I mean, there's a saying that, Jack of all, master of none. I believe in being jack of many, I mean <laughs> jack of all and master of many. MashaAllah. So it is not only Dawa I'm involved in. You have finance. high standards. I'm involved in finance, I'm involved in architecture. So if, so, so, so if architect meets me, I can tell him 
what is the Italian marble, what is the requirement. So I am Alhamdulillah's help and that helped me in answering. So if an architect asks a question, I know what to reply. I'm involved in technical aspects. I am I can know the specs of the social media what's there. So it is most of the guys only know how to speak. They don't know which is not wrong, okay. Because Allah has then given that gift to everyone. So for my case, I spend less time on on my research. For example, I spend more time on how can I make my lecture heard more. Hmm. So my wife always tells me, fine, we have given maybe only 100 topics. If you give less time for management, maybe you can give a 1000 topics. I tell her that if I had given 1000 topics, so maybe each lecture would be heard by a 1000 people, that's it. 1000 into 1000. Now I'm making my one lecture to be heard and seen by 100 million. Maximization. So 100 lectures with 100 million is far better than 1000 lectures with 1000 people watching. So I believe that it's Allah's help is made. And the more you have knowledge of the worldly things, your answers can be tuned that way. So the advantage that I have because of knowing a variety of things, whether it be law, whether it be finance. So we have CFO, but I learn from you him the rules. You can speak with him, you can know the language. I learn the rules from him. And then because of the hikmah that Allah has bestowed and the art, we try and guide the better mashallah. So you're not working in da'wah, you're working on da'wah. So you're working on developing your da'wah, not just only working in the business or in the da'wah, you develop it. So that's the constant and never-ending improvement it's that I talked about. Business also, I know that I left my, left my lucrative profession. And now I spend maybe about three days in a month for doing my personal business. And we earn more than a million dollars, mashallah. So how to do business also is an art. So that is the reason it's Allah's help and blessing. I am one of the few dais that have no problem in terms of finance also. I know most of the dais have problem. Allah has given me directly, though my brother said I am 50% and I am 50%, but what I earn is multiple times more than my brother. Mashallah. So we find that Allah has So what blessing Allah has given me, it is only Allah's grace that He has selected me. Otherwise, uh, Peace TV, why it's not in Arabic yet? You have Urdu, you have English, so... Uh... Point number one, that there are approximately more than 100 to 125 uh, Islamic channels in the world, out of which more than 75 to 80 are in Arabic. It's already there. Not focused on non-Muslims and speaking I agree with non -Muslims. With you. I agree with you. Our, our focus is to have Peace TV. The first we launched was Peace TV English. That was more than 10 years back. Today having a viewership of more than 100 million. The second we launched was Peace TV Urdu and Urdu and Hindi put together is the third largest language in the world. Today this channel has a viewership of more than 80 million, Alhamdulillah. The third channel we launched five years back, that is Peace TV Bangla. Bangla is the seventh largest spoken language in the world after Arabic. It has a viewership of more than 50 million. And six months back we launched Peace TV Chinese in Mandarin. Mandarin is the largest spoken language in the world, spoken by 1.2 billion people. So at present we have the three major languages in the world. Mandarin, Chinese and Hindi and Urdu and the seventh line. We have plans of Arabic. We were going to launch but we said that because there are already more than 75 channels in Arabic, the requirement is less as compared to other languages. Inshallah our next target is Spanish which is the fourth largest language in the world, then Russian and then maybe Arabic would come. Mm. I do agree with you, many people have told me that you know your channel is different, it's unlike the other Arabic channels which are focused on Muslims, or focused only on the Quran, are they more of comparative religion, are they more of reason and logic, and I don't know of any Arabic channel which has that genre. Inshallah when Allah wills, we launch that also very soon. Inshallah, Ya Rabbi, yeah, that's the, 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 the,